I am really excited about today. So in the studio, the sound is horrible. And I've been watching a lot of videos on how can you improve the sound of your studio. Today, I am putting something to the test. I was told that you can use moving blankets as sound blankets, that they work almost as good. There's one video by Becky and Chris to where they actually used moving blankets as a sound blanket and it worked for them. So what I'm gonna do in this video, we're gonna put them in here and see if you guys can tell a difference, if it makes a massive improvement or not. Can we get rid of this nasty, disgusting echo? Here we go. my studio space from upstairs down into the basement. Now it gave me a lot more room, but now we have a lot of reverb and echo because we have a concrete wall there, another one in front of me, a brick fireplace, and epoxied concrete floors. I see two solutions, either sound panels, sound blankets, or a combination of both. I found three videos that really stood out to me and I will put them in the comments so you could find those because they really helped me out. Number one is do it yourself, building your own sound panels. And I love this guy's idea and I'm gonna do it just like he did it, almost exact. But until then, there was another video by Becky and Chris to where they used a moving blanket. Sound blankets can cost about $50 and up, but I found somebody selling used moving blankets and I broke it down, I bought 16 of them and they came out to about $6 a piece. So we're gonna put those up and show you the difference before and after. We also have three different audios. We have number one, my recorder that's hooked up to my LAV. Number two, we have the Rode Video Micro, which is right here, and it's plugged directly into the computer and it records directly to Audacity. And then number three, we have the Deity Duo, which is on top of my camera. Let's get Audacity started. Oh, let's hit record. So this is before. Now I'm gonna show you with the audio edited with the equalizer and unedited. Directly from the microphone, no tweaks, no changes. This is what it sounds like. Now this is the audio edited. This is the lav mic recording, testing one, two, three. Directly from the microphone, no tweaks, no changes. This is what it sounds like. Now this is the audio edited. The Rode Video Micro, testing one, two, three. Directly from the microphone, no tweaks, no changes. This is what it sounds like. Now this is the audio edited. The DD Duo that is on the camera. That is the biggest test because that is way over there, farthest away from me, will cause the most echo. I just came back from editing all of the footage and hearing the difference between the microphones. It did an amazing job. Those blankets help so much. Now I did it across that back wall right there. And then instead of doing over by the fireplace, like that back wall, I put blankets in the middle of the room. And that way the sound would have to pass through them and then bounce off the wall behind it and come back. And I also thought that that would help all the sound that wants to go to that side of the room because I didn't want to put anything over there. I'm going to put shelves and stuff like that. So I tried to block it as much as possible. Now, after I got all this up, I still heard an echo that I didn't like, and I realized it was probably the ceiling, so I put another blanket above me, and it actually did make a better improvement. So the hissing that you hear, I have a furnace that goes, and I'm pretty sure it was on during the time of recording, and I didn't get a noise profile for noise reduction beforehand, so I couldn't edit that hiss, staticky sound out of the audio. But the echo is what I'm trying to point out in that the moving blankets did it. So if you're looking for a quick fix, I bought 16 of them, but I only used one, two, three, maybe six or seven for this room. And I am satisfied. So I hope this helps somebody. And like always, work harder and smarter. Stay diligent.